Hello and welcome to Red Gaming Tech. As usual, my name is Amata and today is the 19th of April. I have yet more news for you today concerning EA as they report yet more layoffs, this time spread across UK and Indian branches. You may remember the video I did not so long ago about the heavy losses that were hitting EA Montreal as they let go what was reported to be about 200 staff. That wasn't just from the EA Montreal branch of course, but most of the redundancies and firings that were happening were from that particular branch of the company. So things do not seem to be going well at all for EA at the moment, and while the publisher would not discuss the details of its company-wide restructuring, a purported internal source told the website Develop a number of staff at the London outfit Playfish were made redundant about a month ago, and on Sunday EA actually announced it would be closing all Facebook games developed and managed by Playfish, so that pretty much adds a lot of credence to the rumours that were circulating about that particular London branch and the Playfish co-founder Kristen Sergestral, and please excuse me if I pronounce that incorrectly, said that the studio had already split into multiple EA Mobile Maxes and Sports Studios plus the core of global digital publishing, but he did deny that the company had closed down completely. So while they still technically remain open, it doesn't look good for the London branch Playfish as they've pretty much lost a lot of their people. I can't imagine that that particular branch or company that's owned by, uh, by EA, excuse me, is a particularly big one. So I don't think we'll be seeing much from them in the recent, in the coming months or from the EA Montreal guys, as both of these sides of EA have been hit pretty hard with layoffs and have most of its projects shut down. So if they aren't officially closed, they're probably closed in all but name, and I would not be surprised if they are officially closed <clears throat> basically to the press. EA has declined to comment when approached by the website CBG prior to the publication of this news and it just issued a statement though which acknowledges that it is doing a major restructuring. But the PlayStation Jobs Twitter account that Sony staff will visit in Playfish's London office on Wednesday to talk to anyone at the risk of redundancy. So it looks like that PlayStation slash Sony will be looking to snap up some of the talented people that have been let go from Playfish and perhaps give them a place in their company as well, which is would obviously be the most pleasing thing, especially for those affected by this. No one likes to lose their job. I'm sure most of us have been there at some point. I know I have, and it's not pleasant, especially when you're going to be so closely connected to what you're working on, like a game, you're going to be working on a project for, you know, at least a couple of years, usually with, especially with a bigger game, it's going to be more like five years, or three to five years, usually, depending on the game, of course. So EA has been involved in some pretty major layoffs that have been affecting numerous studios like I mentioned earlier. Uh, EA Montreal and the London branch Playfish are only some of those to be affect affected and while numbers have not been confirmed it has been believed that more than 200 people were made redundant in the recent EA Montreal layoffs as I mentioned before. So things do not seem to be going well for them and there's not really any details given about the Indian losses but I imagine that it's pretty much the same story just with different names where a smaller arm or publishing house or excuse me development house that EA owns is being pretty much stripped of all but its most vital staff just to save a little bit of cash as EA struggles with what has been a pretty tough few months I mean none of their big releases have really done as well as they thought you know obviously SimCity that goes without needing to be mentioned and Dead Space 3 did not sell as well as they thought to the point where they are no longer going to be making Dead Space 4 and yes you could say that they're unscrupulous virtues or what have you are coming back to bite them in the arse and perhaps they are perhaps finally gamers are starting to become a bit more vocal with how EA has basically been rinsing them the last few years and while I like to believe that I don't really know if that's necessarily the case I think the true reason behind this would take a lot of research and analysis by someone who knows the financial market much better than myself all I can say is that my thoughts go out to anyone affected by these redundancies that's not a fun place to be and all I can hope is that even if Sony SAS PlayStation aren't able to offer you a position Hopefully you'll find a, a more rewarding company to work for and perhaps we'll see some interesting ideas and indie games come out of the people affected by this. That could be one positive way to look at it that now they'll be free to work on new interesting IP. Anyway, that's me done for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.